Well, welcome back to uh, Cathedral Chats. And, you know, we just celebrated the great feast of uh, Christ the King. And we remember, you know, Jesus is king in our life. And we remember to put him first and foremost in all that we do. And uh, tomorrow we're going to be celebrating Thanksgiving, just being thankful for, you know, all those things that uh, God has given us in this life. And then this Sunday, you know, we enter into that new season, that new time of the liturgical year where we are preparing ourselves uh, for the coming of the Lord, this Advent season. And so often we can just get caught up of Advent is uh, preparing for Christmas and, you know, that nativity of our Lord. But it's also preparing ourselves for, you know, that second coming of our Lord, you know, our King and Savior. And so often we can uh, forget about, you know, preparing ourselves all the time for our Lord and, you know, not knowing that day or the hour when he is to come. And, uh, you know, one of the ways that we can always do that, you know, whether it's uh, preparing ourselves for, you know, the Christmas season or any time of that year is, uh, you know, just have that prayer life to allow ourselves uh, to constantly be putting, you know, God and Jesus at the center of our heart. And there's no better place to, to open up our heart than, you know, to cleanse ourselves from our sins. And so, you know, here at the confessional is that great place that we can, you know, start to prepare ourselves for that, that love and that mercy that God has for us. And, you know, Advent and Lent are, you know, those times of year where, you know, we often go and confess our sins, you know, receive that forgiveness. But you know, it's something that we should be doing regularly just to, you know, allow that love and that mercy that God has so that, you know, we can constantly be preparing for that coming of our Lord. And, you know, other than that, just, you know, during this Advent season, just, you know, dive deeper into that, you know, relationship with God. You know, so often we can get caught up in, you know, Christmas music, decorating holiday parties, and, you know, they, there's good in those also, but, also, you know, we have to take some time and set apart, you know, have some silence to allow the Lord to speak to our heart, to allow him, you know, to into our life more fully this Advent season so that, you know, we can truly call him our Lord and Savior. And, you know, and after we've gone to confession, you know, as all sacraments, you know, they should lead us first and foremost, you know, to the Eucharist and to the altar. And so... You know, the most important thing that we can do this Advent is spend time with our Lord in uh, the Eucharist, you know, even just coming into the church and, uh, you know, just spending some quiet moments, preparing ourselves for, you know, that Christmas feast, that coming of our Lord in our own life, but also remembering, you know, how important, you know, that holy sacrifice of the Mass is and uh, coming and preparing ourselves for, you know, our eternal life by entering into that heavenly realm here at the altar at the Mass. So uh, I hope that you have a nice and fruitful Advent this year, um, that this Thanksgiving that you uh, can be very thankful for what the Lord has given you this year, and that we can all proclaim that, you know, Jesus Christ is Lord. God bless.